Hi, this is Dan and I'm your Math 157 uh, professor this spring of 2012. Um, this is uh, the welcome video to get you ready for um, this semester. This class is made up of uh, primarily uh, high school students for my online class and I'm also teaching this class face to face. So um, you are actually sharing this uh, Blackboard site with the other class and I'm uh, really looking forward to helping you through the course. I'm going to start with, uh, this is a picture of me with my family and there's my wife Sarah and we've been married for uh, 16 and a half years and my son Gavin is over here and he's 10, Kaylin is 7, and Jensen is 5. So I uh, just want to give you a, a picture of me and um, one of your first tasks is going to be to introduce yourself to the class. You don't have to do it with a video like this obviously but um, you will um, be asked to post a picture of yourself to help put a face with your name as well. So uh, well let's get to it. Um, a good way to start will be for you to go to the uh, VMAC webpage and this is where you can also find all your VMAC email and your login. Um, these are going to have the same username and password and for the high school students that are taking this you should have gotten that from your uh, contact or through email from VMAC. And uh, so let's go ahead and hit login. And then to find the Blackboard courses, you're going to hit My Online Learning. And then you're going to click Blackboard. And since I'm already logged in, I'm going to hit Log Out so you can see what it looks like. So then you're going to put in your username and password. And um, that may be your last four digits of your DMAC ID. It may be your six digit birthday. Or if you've already done this, you can uh, set it to whatever you'd like. And then when you click log in, you will see your course list, and this is statistics, which brings us to where we are here. Um, the course content is on here on the left, and you can see the folders that we'll be working on. Um, and obviously a good place to start will be the Start Here folder. And the Start Here folder gives you some directions on how to get going with um, our online homework system, which has primarily almost all the content inside of that. So I'm gonna, uh, I've made a video on how to register for the site. It's right here, so that's a different video you can watch. And when you're in there, um, that's gonna give you access to uh, the weekly, or the, yeah, pretty much weekly we have homework due. It's gonna have videos, it's gonna have an ebook, and uh, all the resources you're gonna need uh, for this class. After you uh, register on uh, CourseCompass.com, and I'll just go ahead and click on that um, so you can see what that site looks like. And uh, it looks right here. Go to the home page. So you should come to a page that looks like this. And then the video shows you how to register as a new student with a grace period code. So you won't need any textbook here for the first few weeks. And uh, you'll eventually get an access code from your uh, contact there at the school so you can maintain um, the online access throughout the semester and uh, um, you can determine if you need a print version or not of the textbook uh, which will be delivered to your school as well. So if we go under your instructor this is what you see and it's got my contact info and then um, well there's a picture of my family from our vacation this summer so I made a little joke here if you're not working very hard I'll send my posse after you so um, so this is the blackboard site is going to be used as kind of a content supplement plus discussion board area um, so if you look here there's a start here folder which you're gonna obviously do here there's a syllabus quiz introduce yourself to the class and um, you know I ask you to do those things um, Another thing we're going to do is have weekly online office hours on Tuesday nights at 9 o'clock p.m. And uh, I know that may or may not work in your schedule, but for those of you that can be there, it's a great time for you to ask me questions live uh, through the internet. All you really need are speakers on your computer um, because most students just chat, but you will be able to hear and see me. Um, and those sessions will be recorded as well. So uh, those can be found in the syllabus. Um, and then obviously you can hit syllabus quiz. So I'm going to go to the syllabus here. And if we look at it, there's uh, one for the online class, which is what this is primarily meant for. 
and there's also the syllabus for the face-to-face -face class. They're almost identical, except obviously the online class isn't going to have face-to-face meeting times, um, but you will have proctored exams. And um, as far as the, I'm going to go ahead and just pull up that. Um, go back there. I'll go ahead and um, open up this PDF. Gives the information, how to register. Here's the link to all the online office hours we'll have every week. And I also have some face-to-face -face office hours. And I'm also teaching this statistics class face-to-face. -face. So if you would like uh, to request me to broadcast um, some of my face-to-face uh, -face office hours, so I don't know if these times work for you. Mondays from 2.30 to 4.30, Tuesdays from 1.30, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1.30 to 3. And then uh, my regular stat class is from 10.10 to 12.10 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I could actually broadcast out uh, to the online class during those times using the same system I use for my online office hours. So we'll communicate more about that through the semester. But if we get to a situation where you want a little extra help, or um, it becomes beneficial, I may start actually sending out hyperlinks saying, hey, you know, if you want to join us uh, synchronously, you can uh, drop into the class and join us um, online. So, um, and obviously, you know, email me if that's something I like to do. Another thing I like to do is have, uh, I'll talk to all the students on the phone early in the course, and um, that is a question in the syllabus quiz. You can, you know, let me know what's a good day and time for me to call you. If we go all the way down to the tests um, and grading, we got about 25% homework, 15% on those discussion board questions, um, and then test and conference of final. Each test is 15%. There's three of them, and then the conference of final is 15%. And those four exams will be proctored at your school. And they take uh, two hours apiece, or allow up to two hours apiece. So it'll be one of your duties is to find someone at your school who's willing to uh, watch you take your tests and their paper pencil tests and um, we'll be communicating more about that. The first test is uh, about almost a month away so uh, first it's in um, like the second week in February so and then the course calendar is uh, uh, at the end here and it kind of tells you what we're going to do every week and I actually have a separate document that you can look at that just has the calendar if you want to not have to scroll through everything. But um, this kind of shows you what sections we're going to be covering, what's due, um, and uh, when the tests are going to be. And so I would, uh, you know, encourage you to, you know, obviously you're going to reference this when you take the syllabus quiz, um, and this should answer most of your questions. And this little thing right here, this uh, course ID, will become important, and you'll need that when you go in to register at coursecompass.com. So. Uh, I'll go back to the picture of me. Um, so hopefully you know how to get started in the course. Uh, you know where to go register, where the syllabus is, where the content's going to be. And um, I would just ask you to kind of peruse through that. If I'm going to go just double check with you in the, in the content areas. These are the, the three exams, chapters 1 through 3, 4 through 6, 7 through 9, and then uh, the chapters 10 through 12 will also be included in the review. But out here I have some supplements to help you. Um, we've got some notes, uh, formula sheets, uh, other links, and uh, what's really important, I think, are the old tests. I've actually have my exams from previous semesters out here with videos going over those uh, tests. And uh, obviously, I'll be strongly encouraging you to take a look at those before every exam um, so you can get a good feel of what's going to be on them and how they're formatted. So, so welcome to the course. Please uh, contact me. If you have any questions, there's my email, dgpetrock at dmac.edu. And there's my phone number, which um, forwards right to my cell, is 964-6882. And have a great semester, and I look forward to working with you.